As I sit in silence, I contemplate political violence that I've witnessed. The north of Ireland is definitely top of the hit list for a political lobotomy of its anatomy. It's sad to see these cheerleaders, fear leaders, soul leaders lead the people astray. Whatever happened to building better days, changing old patterns and creating new ways? Not much has changed in my view. This may not be true for you, but we still got the walls, from the shankle to the falls, and all the other walls. It's like living in a maze. On the upside, there is a tourist craze. Stars will shine and curious minds will find a way. Stars will shine and curious minds will find a way. Wow, you give us the big balls, Victoria Square's far from fur. That only suits the minority, with the majority of the land and the money. It's not fun or even funny. There may be less bombs and less guns, but I see proof that we're losing our youth faster now than never before. Faster now than when there was war. Drugs and suicide are ripping families and communities apart. How do we heal? Where do we start? I would say invest in the people. Invest in the arts. It's the quickest way to heal a heart. Invest in the skill of cooperation. I guess that's how you build a healthy nation. Stars will shine and curious minds will find a way. Stars will shine and curious minds will find a way. We the people need a non-violent revolution to find solutions to this political pollution. These institutions are rotten to the core with post-traumatic stress from war. It's heartbreaking, soul shaking when I hear of another young soul taking his or her own life with the dope, the rope or the knife. These things could be avoided if people weren't being exploited by a broken system that's not listening. Some in power may see these things as tribal, but cooperation is needed for human survival. Stars glisten in the night. Stars stand up and fight. Stars will shine and curious minds will find a way.